Okay, well, thank you very much for agreeing to speak with us. I want to start by asking you a question, an open question, about the ERF and the ERF's role within the wider research community, then also the partnership with Nile University. Excellent. Uh, ERF is the major uh, regional think tank, as you know, it is for the Arab country, Iran and Turkey. And I'm very happy to see that uh, all researchers from these countries are gathered here uh, at Nile University for that matter, that is hosting the conference. The major objective for ERF is to build capacity in research. And one of the major things that we are always trying to induce is providing evidence-based policy. So policy maker will have a menu to choose from that is basically um, based on the evidence. One of the things that happened during this conference to support that is the launch of the uh, open access data that is ERF is providing. In this uh, conference, there was a launch of the uh, Industrial Establishment Survey. Uh, fortunately, we have great researcher who has done uh, this survey. Uh, they collected the data, uh, they cleaned the data. The survey was supported by the uh, GRIC, the Canadian uh, Agency. And now it's available for all researchers all over the world for that matter. It's not only in the region. In order to uh, study the sector, in order to make the sector more efficient in every aspect of the world, whether it's financial, whether it's uh, resources, uh, whether it's managerial, they can really take any of these points and use the data that we have collected and made it available for them in order to conduct their research. As far as hosting the, uh, uh, the conference by Nile University, I think this is the first uh, model and I am very sure that ERF will repeat that model because it's a one-win situation where basically the ERF is uh, using the uh, facility and using all the resources that exist in the university in order to deliver the message. In the meantime, the university is gaining uh, notoriety and is gaining a lot of uh, interaction between the researchers from inside the university and researchers from ERF. This is a very successful model and I'm sure it will be repeated in the future with other universities around the region.